guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzz Weaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. If this is your first time here to the channel, welcome. If you're from New Tech and of course, loyal subscribers here on YouTube, I wanna thank all of you guys for your continued support. We start things off from the Daily Mail. Time to pardon the Thanksgiving turkey. Supply chain crisis sees prices of popular bird rocket by 27% in a year with pumpkin pie, potatoes, and grapes also soaring in price. Shoppers can expect to pay 27% more for a Thanksgiving turkey this year as supply chain troubles cause food prices to rise across the spectrum. Now. We're continuing to see this happen across the board in many areas of retail and just general expenses across our economy. But what makes it even more difficult is now the Democrats, as well as the special interests, now that they're all in power, are also trying to make changes across the board when it comes to, example, in California, where we have the ports. Well, they want to inject emission laws or newer emission laws. Now, of course, everyone can understand and respect and appreciate clean air and clean water. Of course, the Democrats and or the climate control individuals have never made a distinction between why they think the right or conservatives breathe different air and drink different water than them. But nonetheless, that is one of the continuing hampering issues that the administration is facing that while we're going through these difficult times, they still want to inject measures and policies that um, are going to continue to hamper this situation. And even more concerning for some people is the rising natural gas prices expected to increase heating bills this winter. Of course, winter is right around the corner here in the U.S. And as we can see here, the U.S. government announced it expects households to see their heating bills jump as much as 54% compared to last winter. That's a very significant rise. Although here we see from Virginia... Uh, Dominion Energy West Virginia says the price increase won't be that high, at least maybe for them. They say monthly bills are about $3.14 or 4.6% of their total bill. So that would be the increase for them, an additional increase of $3 there in Virginia. So we'll have to kind of see how it affects the other states, particularly up north. And then we have from CNBC... Biden has few options to combat surging gas prices as voters grow concerned about inflation. Well, I think voters have become much more concerned about many more things. And we touched on that on Tuesday when it comes to some of the changes and effects that uh, a lot of what Joe Biden is doing is having on the country. We see here retail gas price average $3.38 per gallon on October 25th has risen roughly 50% in 2021, surpassing pre-pandemic levels. There are no immediate plans to tap into energy reserves or limit energy exports outside the United States, the Energy Department told CNBC. I am not surprised. They do a fuel change between summer to winter, which also creates an increase. But if Joe Biden thinks that he doesn't have any options, then isn't that also a concern that our government can't make decisions or appropriate decisions to make the appropriate changes to help the American people as well as help with higher prices? Well, they can't because the Democrats don't have the capacity to make simple distinctions between ideological uh, concepts and reality concepts because in their minds sometimes, as we see very much so much of what they do is staged and for the purposes of optics and superficiality, when it comes to reality, they become shocked and confused and not sure how to combat things because reality has set in. That mean thing called reality sets in and then they're not sure how to make adjustments because their expectations weren't met and now suddenly they're kind of stuck with trying to deal with what reality has dished out to them. Now, to give you an idea about this misperception, misconception and optics we see here from Ash Short, our Safeway appears to be trying to hide the supply shortage by using a single line of products to fill shelves leading to this. So what we have here is uh, an image, and you guys may have seen this last week, uh, where they've taken maybe, say, like the three rows of these particular onion rings and just kind of dispersed them out to kind of make it look like there's uh, more product there. It looks like they did the same thing with the Goya beans. 
But this is very indicative of what I just described as how the Democrats try to cover for reality is they take what they can say, for example, these onion rings, for example, or gas prices or any other prices and say, well, we've run out of options because of this, or we run out of options because of that, because Joe Biden wants to maintain his 70% vaccination rate. Now it's become a bit of a competition. And sadly, when it comes to competing governments across the world, of course, there's going to be a lot of posturing, a lot of saber rattling, which we've already seen, of course, out of Asia and Russia and North Korea. But now we also have it out or we have it with the pandemic and or vaccinations as well. And it's really sad because the people suffer when governments try to compete with each other. They need to be doing the will of the people. They, they, they need to be doing the right thing. And it doesn't matter whether you're a Democrat or a Republican or a conservative or a leftist or a progressive. And I, don't, I know how deep the progressive mindset can go with Trump derangement syndrome. But you would have to be pretty blind or completely deranged not to see the continuing rising prices that people are going through because the left and progressives cancel culture and woke mobs they all have places to live and i'm going to assume that many of them have to pay their own bills but here we see also we talked about this on tuesday business groups ask biden administration to delay vaccine mandate so the reality that we just talked about is catching up to businesses because people, human beings, who have concerns about the vaccine, about their safety, about their health, about their wellness, and they also know that before the vaccine came out, doctors, uh, caregivers, EMS, police, people in general, were all taking precautions before the vaccine came out. So what? how is it any different now? Yes, a vaccine is part of the solution. It is part of what is being introduced. But up until we had the vaccine, people were practicing, uh, you know, social distancing. They were wearing masks. They were doing basically the same things. I would imagine that hospitals and doctor's offices and dentists and wherever else where there's groups of people together, particularly in the health in the health area industry, they are probably still exercising the same safety protocols, mask, goggles, gloves, whatever they have to do. So. Whether you're vaccinated or not, you're still going to be wearing the same protective equipment. So what is the actual difference? But the thing here, guys, is that businesses are now seeing, and again, I emphasize here, Biden has not passed that measure or policy either through executive order, which he wants to do, I guess, also partly in OSHA, making it a mandate. But we also have the ADA, the Americans with Disabilities Act that protects people uh, that have disabilities or illnesses of some sorts that prohibit them from maybe getting shots or performing certain tasks at a job or these sorts of things. And of course, we all know that the Democrats are all about perspective. They're all about their critical race theory. They're all about the superficiality. They're all about the optics. And so you would think this would be a concern of theirs when it comes to the Americans with Disabilities Act because now that would equal discrimination. And so businesses, though, are realizing that I know I've mentioned this on Tuesday when I was doing the video that I saw friends mention on Facebook and just over social media in general that their last days are going to be like November the 1st or sometime in November because they're not getting the shot. And it, it isn't they aren't trying to make a political statement. These aren't necessarily political people. They are simply exercising their choice. They have made their decision that maybe the vaccine is not going to be for them. And so, or maybe some of them can't have it and it's no one's business why they can't have it. And of course, uh, you know, businesses are seeing this. So business groups asked Joe Biden administration to delay vaccine mandate, but we can continue to see this being a problem. So the National Retail Federation, the American Trucking Association and the Retail Industry Leaders Associations are asking the White House to give businesses 90 days to comply which would pause implementation until no earlier than late January, CNBC reported. So they're asking for more time, but I don't, I, you know, I don't think people are going to change their mind. I think people have already made up their minds. You know, the government can suggest, the government can recommend, the government can encourage, but they cannot make people do anything. And this is going to come to a head. I have a feeling that at some point, this is going to go to SCOTUS. This is going to go to the Supreme Court. I think Biden has been trying to avoid this as best as he can. That's why he wants to go for the mandate 
or I'm sorry, that's why he wants to go for executive order. But we've already seen him go against SCOTUS when it came to the moratorium. Remember when they were trying to extend the moratorium for uh, for uh, uh, landlords and so forth? He just changed the language. SCOTUS told him it was unconstitutional. He just re reinterpreted the language, just like you uh, when you redo the cans at the store. And uh, reality is catching up to them, and they can't avoid that because you're not going to be able to distort reality to paint an image that you want people to see. It is a facade, and people can see right through it. And that's what I have for you guys this Friday. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. Of course, below this video, you can find the various social media links that I belong to, where you can follow me for my daily post. And of course, if you're watching this here on YouTube, that would be the channel icon appearing right there on the screen to subscribe. You can click on that and subscribe as well as click notifications. That way you'll know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see you guys right there behind that camera next week.